Radical. All right, now maybe I'm not quite so happy about that leak. I mean, I looked at it from my perspective, which was, hell yes, I get to see some early alpha build footage of what's going to be the biggest game release of all time. I'm a big fan of Grand Theft Auto, but hell, that's not saying a lot because just about everybody's a big fan of Grand Theft Auto. You know, I never ran across one person that says they hate every game in the series. No, no. Pretty much Grand Theft Auto is like the biggest game series of all time. I mean, you know, there's Mario and Zeldies, but, you know, for the mass market, I'm not just talking about, like, certain niches of people, like the mass market, Grand Theft Auto is as big as they come. And I guess I lost sight that there's a there's a very dark aspect here, and I didn't go over it. Now, first, before I get into my thoughts, not revised thoughts, but other thoughts, I still have the thought and the feeling that, hell yes, I got to see some Grand Theft Auto 6 footage. But I'm going to go into a statement from Rockstar Games, who actually officially 100% confirmed that this was footage from GTA 6. Now, they say, We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our system including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations. We will update everyone again soon. And of course, we'll properly introduce you to this next game when it is ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation, the Rockstar Games team. I believe other developers came out in support of them. Neil Druckmann came out in support because, as we know... The Last of Us 2, a lot of that was leaked. Actually saving people from buying that shit. Abby and what they did to Joel, you know, saved a lot of people from buying that shit. Uh, not saying that it wasn't um, technically a good game from what I saw, but yeah, the story was fucking shit. Fucking shit, fucking shit. And to that leaker, they actually help people make an informed decision on the game in that instance. So fuck you, Neil Druckmann. Just want to get that in there for what he did to The Last of Us. In this instance, though, I feel bad for the Rockstar team because the other element that I didn't talk about was that this guy, who supposedly is an 18-year-old kid, no less, uh, goes by the name Uber Teapot something, no, no, no. Uh, I meant to say he was responsible for a Uber hack. But I forget what the uh, screen name was. Here's what we need to find out. Who this fucker is. I mean, I know the internet, you have people doing things and they don't reveal who they are. But I'm curious. Since this guy actually wants to extort money from Rockstar Games because he says he has more footage he can actually release, his goal is to get money and extort from Rockstar Games. So what do you do if you're Rockstar? Do you cave into this? Do you give him some money? Because, I mean, there's no guarantee this guy is actually going to uh, destroy all the files. It's basically just a promise that he's not going to release the footage. So I feel bad for Rockstar in the situation. Uh, and I feel like, is there not any way that you can actually track this guy and find out who this kid is? I say kid, but he's 18 years old, so he can actually be pr uh, prosecuted by the law. I hope this fucker goes behind bars or actually pays to pay a ton of money to Rockstar. You know, I don't want Rockstar having to pay this little twerp for basically doing this. I mean, it's one thing to actually, you know, leak footage from a game. Okay, and again, I mean, say what you will, because, again, I was excited to see some footage. 
but to extort and try to extract money from Rockstar is just terrible. It's fucking terrible. And I hate that uh, this is happening. That being said, Rockstar, I mean, you know, the state that you uh, released the definitive edition of the trilogy, uh, you know, maybe some people might say it's actually karma coming back. 